So today I'm gonna show you how to make just real simple deer sausage. So first thing you gotta do is get your fire lit. This is summer sausage, so we don't need to cook like below 100. Since we don't want our sausage to get over 165 degrees, we're gonna run a little fire. So the next thing I'm gonna do, once I get this uh, coal bed started here, I'm gonna set a split on there. We're gonna bring it up to about 125 degrees. I'm using the meat missile today, which is a stick burner I built specifically for doing this. If you wanted to use some other kind of cooker, uh, you just need to be able to hang the sausage. So if your cooker's not very tall, you're gonna use shorter casings. If your cooker's real tall, you can use 18 inch casings. That's what I'm using today. So we're gonna uh, get some wood on here and I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna get the band fired up to stuff that sausage. I gotta grind, the second. I gotta season it, do the second grind, and then we're gonna start stuffing casings. Right. Make it the magic happy. So this is uh, uh, the deer meat and the pork, you know, I told you about a minute ago. So the key to making summer sausage, anything you're curing, you gotta actually weigh it like real careful. And we're doing 100, we're doing 25 pound batch. That's typically when you buy a bag of seasoning. If you buy it, that's what's in the bag, you know, 25 pounds. And so uh, anyway, I'm 24 pounds, 12 ounces. So I gotta cut up a little more deer meat. And I gotta add some to this until we, uh, until we hit that 25 pounds. And I forgot the seasoning this morning, so my son's bringing it. But anyway, when he gets here, we're gonna dump it in and we're gonna mix this up. Me and Kelly here, my boy, Kelly, we're gonna mix this all up and then we're gonna stick it down in the, in the grinder and run it through one more time, then we'll stuff. What you do with this seasoning here, so this is enough for 25 pounds. There's a trick bag hanging in here that's got your cure in it. It's one ounce, Oop, here it is right here. All right, that's the cure. So we mix all that up in some water and we pour that in here and we just stir it up, right? And you're supposed to measure. It doesn't say on the bag. I don't know how much, I just guess. You're putting seasoning, water, and what was that a third thing? This that, is the cure. The cure, okay. Number one, pink curing salt. Yeah. This is, the, this is the part that if you're not using a scale, you know, I don't know what it does, but it's not good for you to put it that way. <laughs> so that's why you gotta be so careful with sausage or any kind of thing that you're curing. You gotta make sure that like you weigh the meat and make sure it's the right amount. And then that way you put the right amount of cure in. So this is exactly one ounce. Now we stir it. We just try to emulsify that seasoning so it spreads evenly and get the cure mixed in. The curing is actually what cooks the sausage, the curing process. It's a chemical process. At least that's what I was always told anyway. That's why we don't have to get real crazy about cooking it to a huge temperature. You could actually just dump this cure in there and hang this in a controlled environment for, you know, however long. I'm pouring it in there. We're gonna stir it up by hand. Use our hand mixer here. Yeah, use our hand mixers. We don't have that fancy tumbler thing. So you want to mix the seasoning and the cure, you know, evenly as possible in here so you don't wind up with a pocket of just meat that don't have no cure on it, you know, because it'll go bad in there. So you just got to kind of break up some of the stuff. And then part of the process is when we go back into uh, the grinder for the second round, it's going to help mix and uh, stuff and things. Is that technical enough? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> putting it through for our second grind, which is how we get some consistency in it. And it kind of helps mix it a little better too. So we're gonna run all of it through again. Sometimes I'm better off using my hands than that thing. But you just don't want to stick your digits down in that hole because it's a bad situation. So once you get it all grinded through, what are you gonna do after that? We're gonna mix pepper jack in there. This is high temp cheese. See, it really does say high temp cheese. Anyway, I use about a half a bag for 25 pounds. This is pepper jack. I've got some cheddar in there we'll do on another batch later. Um, but the whole point is that while it's hanging in the cooker, the cheese won't melt and liquefy inside the, the sausage casing as you're smoking the sausage. So anyway, now we're gonna 
we already mixed it all up and uh, we're soaking our casings. These are collagen casings, just a two inch or inch and three quarter by 18 inches or whatever. That'll do about a pound and three quarters of sausage or something like that. You gotta soak those and get them wet. Then what we'll do is we'll set the stuffer up over here. It's a little crank stuff where we're gonna use a cheapy. We'll just put that in the stuffer and stuff it. So an old pit master trick, when, you, when you're lazy, well, especially because most time when you're pit master and you have some various adult beverages, and so your focus might be off just a bit during the process. So what I like to do is turn the thermometer to where whatever temperature I want to run is straight up and down. So I don't have to look at the number. I can just look at where the needle's pointed. If it's straight up, then I know I'm good. <laughs> Unless somebody comes over and is like, oh, that's not right. And they straighten it out, you know, that's about 140 up there that's pretty good so we just don't want to run more we don't want to get we don't want that sausage to finish too fast so i'm actually going to choke some stuff down a little bit here so my air inlets are wide open so we just use the old number 12 there and we just don't want to put the old put the coal bed out you know the life's blood of this thing is keeping the coal bed going i mean we don't have to see like a lot of flames or nothing we're just looking for this coal bed underneath of there but what happens is these logs start turning into coal as they burn so if you control your air, you'll be able to run that low temp. So I just shut the air down. We're just gonna pay attention to it. Here in a little bit, we'll throw some cherry on there, get some flavor going. So we got the little stuffer. Kelly and I already loaded this thing up with about, what, I don't know, three pounds, four pounds, whatever it does. We got our casing soaking. What we're gonna do, we're gonna crank the hand a little bit and get the air out. You, you just wanna make sure there's no air mixed in. So as you're loading the stuffer, you'll see us do here in a minute. When we load this stuffer again, we put a little bit in, we pack it down put a little more in, pack it down as we go. That way we don't have air in there. I'm gonna stick this up on there mm -hmm. and he's gonna Middle. crank the old handle there. A little bit of air, but it'll escape. There we go. Yeah, and then see how I'm kind of holding the casing back? That way as he's pushing it. It fills it, the casing full. It fills it full and packs it. So we don't have a bunch of air bubbles and stuff in there. And then you just put the right amount of pressure on that so that you keep the casing uniform and stiff and then about almost right there and he cranks back just there yeah and then sometimes you wind up with just a bit too much so you pinch that out let me just stick it back in there and how are we going to close it up because it's going to hang from there oh we got these hog rings so you got to pinch this off and get the air out of it and twist it a whole bunch and then my brother Matt here is going to stick that around there and give her a squeeze. Boom. And you just want to make sure that you don't poke a hole in the casing anywhere because it'll leak out. There we go. There's a the summer sausage. So now we just set this off into the side. And once you get them all prepped, you're going to put them in the smoker? Yep. Right on. That way we don't have the smoker open for a really long time. We can do about two casings every load. <laughs> last time right there. I used about half that thing. So Frank we're starting round two of the sausage. Round two. Round but two. everybody that's watching this has to be quiet. You can't let anybody know. But me and Kelly are using hey instead of water this time. Anyway so live action we're not gonna tell Tom <laughs> because he'll thumb his nose at it. I guess we do need a little bit more. Mm. So what we did me and Kelly and Matt stuffed all these casings. Then we got to the to the end of the casings and we ran out of meat. So now we're hanging it in the cooker. What I'm doing is I'm putting this in here. I'm gonna try to fit as much on top as I possibly can. So is this a recommended way on the hooks? Yeah, you just S hooks. You just make a grate up there at the top. That's what we did. Now we run the fire for the better part of uh, six hours or so, whatever we can muster up. Then we'll run the temperature up and finish them out about 160 something. We'll probably play on the side of caution and pull them about 160, uh, yeah, 162, because they'll continue. When you pull them out, they'll continue cooking. Boom! You fit them all.
We got these sausages hanging up. Yeah, this is the first batch we did in the morning. Um, this is the uh, pepper jack. So last night when the cooker was done, you know, it was about, I don't know, eight o'clock. Um, we brought them in, we dunked them in ice water, got them to stop cooking, you know, get them to cool off a little bit. And then uh, we hang them. They're not quite done yet, but we want to taste it to see what we got. Okay, this here is the one that we added a secret ingredient to. So here we go, you ready? Yeah. So now we're gonna taste test. Yeah, Joe's gonna taste test. Yeah, here we go. Cheers, man. Oh. Pepper Jack. Way better. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's actually it tastes better today than it did yesterday because we did sample some yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I love, I love it. I'm a Pepper Jack fan, but this is, this is, this is incredible. We got some good smoke penetration, I think. Ready for round two? Let's yeah, let's see what the pepper well, This one here, this one here, just so you know, has a secret ingredient. We, we didn't tell Tom what it is. <laughs> mm. Cheers, brother. Could be. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Hell, if we get Tom, we might get close. I don't know. <laughs> we put a whole can of IPA in that sausage. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what this the juicy hoppy taste is. <laughs> in Tom's sausage and he don't like IPAs. So we're gonna see what happens. Tom, you gonna try this? <laughs> Tastes like soap. It's not soap. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is it? It's fucking good with mustard though. Is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we put 12 ounces of IPA in it. <laughs> That's a beer in there. Maybe it'll dry a little better. As it dries, yeah. So something about sausage, you know, it, it's it's basically just ground <laughs> meat and then you dump some seasoning in there, you know, you mix it all up, case, put it in casings, hang it, smoke it, whatever, and let the cure do its thing. But you can get real creative with a lot of different stuff. Like in this here, we did, uh, we did the pepper jack and the cheddar. And this is high temp cheese, you know, I showed you that yesterday on the video. But you know, you can put IPA in there, you can do other stuff. I'm real happy with it. And uh, I encourage you, don't let sausage intimidate you. You know, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. As long as you get the measurements right, pack it tight it's it's good hey so we're going to start doing a lot more of these kind of videos so uh anyway if you're interested in this kind of content make sure to like and subscribe this channel and uh you know hit us hit the old thumbs up on this video if you don't mind leave us a comment and tell us what you want us to cook um most of our channel has been educational about everything but the cooking so we're we're uh gonna try to start showing the result of our food so anyway cheers guys cheers.